All right, Kendrick. What's up, baby? What's up, man? So I heard the name is Howard. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm I, Harold. Yeah, I, know, I grew up as Howard. So, you know, if you ever meet me, I introduce myself as Howard. Howard Joseph Kendrick III. Do that dance in the dugout, my friend. So you're a photographer. You love this stuff. When did you start Ooh. getting into photography? I've probably been doing photography probably for about nine years now. You know, it, it sparked my interest when I had some pictures of the kids taken that didn't really turn out the way that I thought they should have. Awesome. So was, <laughs> somebody else took them, and you're so, like, I can do that. Yeah, so I, you can ask Jody. I said, oh, I, could, I, said, I could probably do that. So I, I went and bought a camera, and I just started taking pictures. I didn't really have any idea what I was doing in the beginning. But that's me in a nutshell. Like, I'll just see something I like. I'm like, I'm going to try that and see if it works. And, you know, I started to like it even more. You know, I got better at it. I would always ask team photographers questions, and I just kept getting better. And I, I started taking it with me on the road, and it got, got me out of the room. I started seeing the city more. Every yeah. city we went to, it gave me something to do. And, you know, I get some really cool shots because of it. So what were some of the best pictures that you've taken? I'll tell you the family shots, the stuff that people don't get to see. And then I have moments from my career as a baseball player. I have photos of guys that I'll go back, and I'm like, man, I didn't even realize I had that, you know? Guys like Trout or pictures of Harper and pictures of Soto. You know, I have Soto with his mom fixing his collar and stuff like that. That's stuff that people don't really get to see. You've been around a long time, long enough to have played with Trout, Harper, Soto, to see those guys play with or against them. Some great young talent coming through the big leagues. Um, who stands out? Who's different? The obvious guys like Trout. This kid is a stud. S T U D. Of all the players I've played with, I don't think anybody would argue that that's the best player that I've ever played with. You know, just and honestly, Mike. The reasons I love Mike though is because of who he is as a person. Thank you so much. No problem. I got to see the Mike and Trout that played with my kids in the locker room that would throw them baseballs or play catch with them. The guy that would be 0 for 5 with three punch outs and still be the same guy. You know, you never knew whether he was 0 for 5 or 5 for 5. Mike Trout has done it again! Oh my goodness! Send that kid to a higher league. Juan Soto is another one of those guys that's unbelievable kid. A tremendous home run by Juan Soto! He's 20, 21 years old, you know, and I see a lot of similarities in him that Mike has. That 21-year-old kid has been unbelievable this postseason. So before you get to the World Series, let's go back to the Dodger Series and the Big Grand Slam. So we got a fly ball, center field deep. Bellinger going back to the warning track, to the wall. It's a Grand Slam! Howie Kendrick has done it! That was such a huge play. I think it caught a lot of people by surprise. What was your approach when you were walking up to the plate and getting ready for that at bat? Honestly, it's funny because I tell my wife about this and she goes, what were you doing when you're on deck? What were you thinking? People always ask me about that. And, you know, I was talking to God on deck. And most people be talking about like, man, what's my approach? And I said to God, I said, hey, man, if you got anything for me right now, now's the time. Howie Kendrick with a grand slam here in the 10th inning of game five. Do you believe it? When I hit that ball, I mean, it was just pure adrenaline. I'll remember that for the rest of my life just because of the fact that it was such a huge hit. And, you know, it lifted us, you know, it gave us a chance to go to the World Series. The former Dodger breaking hearts in Los Angeles. So then we go to the World Series. The cool thing about a series, particularly World Series, is you get to log pitchers as you're going through seven games in 10 days. Yeah. So I set that up to ask you about facing Harris. Take me through your thought process. Same, similar thing with Joe Kelly at bat. I'm, you know, as they're, I'm sitting on deck and I'm talking to God again, like, hey man, you got something for me. Now's a good time again, you know, and I walk up to the plate, first pitch, I'm looking heater, and he got one down. That's down the right field line into the corner. When I hit it, I could tell the Springer wasn't going to catch it. Howie Kendrick has made it 3 2. Once I saw it hit the foul pole, I was like, I just, you know, same emotion as the Dodgers get. Do you believe it, Howie Kendrick? Part two. It was, it was such an exciting feeling to be in the World Series and to have a, a moment like that that, you know, like I said, I'll never forget that. Howie Kendrick has provided his signature moment in the World Series. 